Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm back again uh, for uh, another uh, cooking episode here at home. Um, for tonight's uh, dish, guys, we're gonna be uh, doing uh, another uh, pasta uh, edition. So tonight, uh, we'll be uh, cooking uh, seafoods uh, pasta. Uh, we're gonna be using a tomato base again for this uh, particular pasta. And as always, uh, we'll guys uh, take you guys to the ingredients, and of course, we'll take you guys in the process of doing this uh, delicious dish but before that guys uh, I actually have my uh, baby right now my, my wife she's uh, feeding them so I'm just gonna show you uh, my uh, cute uh, two little babies uh, real fast that's uh, Javin Javin is actually eating now guys he's actually eating uh, real food now so look at him he's getting bigger and bigger and uh, that is uh, Kuya Kuya Jaden Hi, Jaden. Say hi. Say hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, guys. All right, now, now time to uh, you know do the cooking now. Um, like what I said, uh, you know we'll take you guys through the ingredients and then we'll go into the process. So let's do this uh, quick. This one is a quick uh, uh, but delicious uh, dish, guys. Uh, yeah. So I have to put that one out first. In that way, you guys are aware. So let's do it. All right, here, here are the ingredients on my uh, seafood uh, pasta that we'll be uh, using. So for the uh, for this particular dish, guys, I'm only gonna be using a uh, mussels and then uh, shrimps. I love to do this combination every time I do this one. But of course, you guys can always add, um, you know, other uh, seafoods as well if you guys, uh, you know, feel like it. But for this particular one, I'm only gonna be using those two. And then let's go ahead with the uh, the veggies. So I got um, a garlic here. I also have um, uh, onions. So I'm, I'm, I'm using plenty of onions. So these are two onions here and then two cloves of garlic. And then we're also gonna be using these uh, great potatoes towards the end um, uh, for like garnishing. And then uh, for the, um, uh, what do you call it, the base? So um, I love to use uh, the tomato, uh, basil, and garlic uh, sauce uh, for all my pasta. I feel like that brings a lot of the uh, flavoring I'm looking every time I uh, do uh, any kind of uh, pasta dishes. And I'm also going to be using this uh, McCormick uh, garlic herbs and uh, black pepper and sea salt. Uh, what's in here, guys? Uh, I've been showing you guys this one in the past. Um, the one that I love particular in this one are the oregano, parsley, and thyme uh flavor so that's everything on this uh, particular um uh, what do you call it uh seasoning uh, uh that i get at the uh, walmart um on their um uh, uh, seasoning shelf and then uh we're also going to be using uh some uh, parmesan uh, cheese so i'm only going to be using half of this one just to put more flavoring on my uh, pasta dish and then we're also going to be using a nora bouillon and then uh, the pasta I'll be using uh, for tonight will be uh, linguine uh, pasta. So those are all the ingredients, guys. Uh, now we're going to go in the process of cooking this one because since I got everything I prepared now. All right, guys. So every time I cook a pasta, I always uh, use uh, olive uh, oil. So that's what I'm going to be using. I just like the flavoring that the olive oil brings on our dish. So that's what I'm going to be uh, using for tonight. All right, I think our wok is uh, hot enough. So we're going to be uh, sauteing uh, our garlic now. While I'm waiting for this uh, to turn uh, a little bit brown, guys, uh, for the mussel, what I did is I actually boiled this one with just uh, ginger. In that way, I can uh, kind of like reduce some of the uh, the unique uh, taste on the mussel if you cook them fresh. So that's how I did it. But it's really up to you guys. But yeah, I just want to point out that I did boil this one uh, with ginger. The shrimp, yeah, I'm not too worried about the shrimp, guys, but the mussel or anything uh, um, 
uh, the shells, the one with the shell, uh, I usually boil those ones with the ginger. So it should be good. Now we can uh, put our uh, onion, make them translucent. our uh, shrimp yeah you guys can do this one I heat for the time being gonna wait until our shrimps are turn kind of like orangey in color. Alright now we're gonna uh, put in our mussels as well. herbs and garlic in there this McCormick uh, this actually helps out with the flavoring guys and of course the uh, the aroma on our uh, pasta dish so that should be good and now we're also gonna add our uh, Nora chicken bouillon if you guys don't have it just use whatever you guys have if you guys have the shrimp uh, go for it or the pork or uh, whichever you guys have even the beef this will just add for the, uh, the flavoring on our pasta We're just gonna be mixing this one guys maybe for like a couple minutes and then we can start adding our uh, sauce sauce from there all right continuing our dish now we're gonna be adding our uh, tomato basil and garlic uh, pasta sauce now to uh, rinse this one with uh, a little bit of water so we can extract uh, what's left on this uh, uh, what do you call it container now we're gonna be adding our water not water but I meant uh, sugar brown sugar and then uh, we're gonna put this one to a boil and then we will uh, add our uh, cheese from there so we'll be back all right guys so while waiting for our uh, sauce to uh, uh, boil um, I'm actually gonna be cooking our um, linguine now so I just want to point out guys uh, um, Go follow the uh, the actual direction, guys, because it tells you right there. Get the best from your pasta, cooking the Italian way. I mean, if you want the al dente um, pasta, uh, it says like there like ten minutes, but I go uh, maybe like a couple minutes uh, uh, over that uh, minimum, guys, because I kind of like wanted wanted 
wanted it like maybe like a little softer than uh, the al dente so i'm gonna put this one to boil and then uh, what i do um is i actually uh, uh what do you call it uh make the water boil first before i actually put the pasta not just like throw it in there the pasta right away so i actually put it to boil and then um, i start counting the minutes uh from there and i add a little bit of uh, oil and then uh, a little bit of salt as well so yeah i just want to point that one out guys um in that way you guys know how i actually do uh, a perfect uh, pasta every time all right back on our dish so now we're gonna be adding uh, our cheese now like what I said so I'm only gonna be adding a half guys and then uh, and then we'll go from there and then we have to do uh, do a tasting in that way we know exactly uh, if we still need to add like salt on our uh, pasta because some of the cheeses can be like really salty already so like what I said I'm just gonna do half so that should be good just to uh, add flavor on our pasta and then we're just gonna mix it up and then like what I said in the past guys uh, always check the bottom of the wok even though if it's a uh, non-stick because sometimes it just loves to uh, burn whatever like sitting uh, down there so just kind of like move uh, uh, what do you call it the uh, uh, dish around yeah, like what I say guys this one is relatively easy and fast once our um, uh, pasta is cooked I'm just gonna actually add it here right after all right our uh, pasta is cooked guys and I went to uh, remove some of it and put it like on a different uh, container that way we can use that one again like for later use so maybe like this is just like half maybe enough uh, for a box of the linguine pasta that I have so what I'm gonna do now is actually uh, mix the actual pasta here gonna mix it up in there make sure you get all the uh, sauces in the uh, pasta and then we're gonna be adding our uh, grapes uh, tomatoes I love the uh, you know the, the tomato uh, flavoring in there like more tomato the better in my opinion and that's gonna do our uh, seafood uh, pasta dish guys All right, guys. So uh, hopefully you guys did, did learn something new again. Uh, if, if you guys haven't tried this one, I highly encourage it that you guys give it a try because it's I, like what I said, guys. It's simple, but uh, really delicious, guys. And you can, you know, you can uh, tell just by like cooking. You can, you know, smell all the aroma and everything at your place. Uh, but yeah, give it a try, guys. Uh, like what I said, guys. Uh, I'll be sharing uh, more of uh, these dishes. Um, you know, like every time I cook, of course, I'm gonna upload them on our uh, channel. Um, you know, I just want to say a thank you again for, you know, for, you know, keep watching our videos and for liking them and, you know, for all the support. Uh, I'll definitely see you guys on our uh, next uh, family adventure when we're out and about. Uh, we'll definitely get take you guys to those places too. And of course, uh, the next time I'll be uh, cooking at home, I'll be, uh, sh you know, sharing uh, those one as well. But for now, guys, I say uh, goodbye. Uh, thanks again. Uh, see you guys uh, next time. Bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,